Hey, so I thought I'd show my workflow that I use for my game Astradition. To create my assets, I use Blender, Quixel Mixer, and Unity 3D. A quick overview is that Blender will make the 3D model, Quixel Mixer will texture this, and Unity 3D will bring everything together and I can code what the object will actually do. So for this video, I've chosen to model an electric drill, just because I needed it in the game. So here we are in Blender. To get the base shape of the object, I like to import the reference image and almost sketch around it. Once you can kind of tell what the 3D model is, I tend not to look at the reference image anymore. After a while of modelling, I add different coloured materials to different parts of the model. So here I am making a red and an orange material and using it to break up the model a little bit. These will eventually be used to make the colour ID maps, which allows different textures to be applied to different colours within Quixel Mixer. This will be clear once we move over to Quixel Mixer. I'm almost done with the model at this point, I'm just adding some finer details such as grooves near where the drill bit goes, as well as some on the handle of the drill. I also realised I forgot to add the trigger for the drill, so I added that in and gave it its own material. So at this point I'm happy with the model, and we're almost ready to move over to Quixel Mixer. But first we have to make two maps. The first is going to be the colour ID map, and the second one is going to be an ambient occlusion map. So within the material, we need to add an image texture. I chose 2048 by 2048 pixels. Make sure you have this node selected and then copy and paste it into the rest of the materials that you have. Now the model needs to be UV wrapped, which in short allows a 2D image to wrap around a 3D model, much like the foil you see on chocolate reindeers. Luckily, Blender has a smart UV project button, which does a good job of making a UV, but it leaves some big gaps and some faces are too close together. So I like to manually go in and neaten it up a little bit. Now finally, with all of this done, we can bake the two images that we need. To bake the colour ID, we bake the diffuse colour. And for our ambient occlusion, we select ambient occlusion. Now I'm going to save these because I'm going to need them in just a second. The very last step before we get to Quixel Mixer is to remove all but one material from our object and then export it as a .fbx file. In Quixel Mixer we can import our 3D model being the .fbx file as well as loading in our colour ID map. So to see what a colour ID map does, if we load in a material we see it applies to the whole model. But if we add a colour ID mask to it and we select say the colour dark red we can see that the material only applies to the drill bit and if we do this again with a black plastic material and make the colour ID mask the colour red we can see that this only applies what we had as red in Blender. So I repeated this method with different materials trying to get it to look how I want it to look and it was getting there but I needed one more material. If you do need a custom material within Quixel Mixer then textures.com is a great resource. Just type the name of what material you need and download it. Although there is a limit to how much you can download without paying. Then in Quixel Mixer you can import the albedo, normal, roughness maps and you'll have your new material. At this point of texturing I was quite happy with how it looked, although I did end up changing it after recording so if you see two different versions that's why. Now that the texturing is done we can export all of the maps that we need. I have a preset made for Unity 3D, which makes the albedo, roughness, normal, ambient occlusion and metalness maps, although I do still use the ambient occlusion map from Blender. Speaking of Blender, we need to go back there, now that we have the textures we can actually make the icon for the drill. Now we can import the maps that we just created and link them up with the corresponding places in the material. This is the same Blender file which we deleted all but one material. I tend to find it a little bit shiny, so I use the colour ramp node and get rid of the super shiny parts. I do keep a lot of the settings consistent for all of the items, like having 512 by 512 pixels as the resolution, as well as a 100mm focal length and a transparent background. I just think it looks nice. I also like to add an environment mapping because I find it's a bit too dark otherwise, and it gives quite nice lighting to it as well as good reflections. Once I've got it looking how I want it to look, I hit F12 and that's the image we have. Onto the third software, let's open Unity 3D. I like to keep things organised, so I'm going to make a new folder for the drill and import everything we just created. 
When making a new material, I set the shader type to URP object recolor. This is just a custom shader that I used for Astradition and it allows me to recolor the object at runtime. Other than that, it's just a case of dragging and dropping the correct maps into the correct slots. We can see how the material changes when we drag in the different maps that we made. And that's usually it. Anything else here is extra and may not be part of your workflow. This is just me setting things up specific for my game now. We can start by doing the recolouring that I mentioned earlier. So I need to set the colour that we want to recolour, which is yellow. And we can choose the new colour, as well as how far away we are from the colour and still want to recolour it. So now to program the functionality of the drill, and a lot of this has been programmed already. So all I need to do is set the class to inherit from repairer rather than mono behaviour. And this is a class for anything in my game that can be used to repair things. Now in the editor, we can name the item and assign the icon that we've done in Blender. For some reason, I named it Tool, even though it should be Drill. My brain just stopped working. Lastly, we can add a rigid body so it has physics and a collider so that it does not fall through the floor. Now in game mode, we can see the drill icon and we can pick it up. Yeah, so let's fix that. I need to add an animator component so that I control the direction it faces as well as add any animation I need for it being used. Once we've added an animation for it being in the correct position, I also have to fix the hand position. This is done by just moving an empty game object to where I need it to be. So now when we pick it up, it looks a lot better than it did before. We can change the colour of the object as we wish and I've added the little drilling animation when it's being used. Thank you very much for watching. If you are curious about Astradition, there will be a couple of links below with the Steam page and its social media. It's a space survival game with a story. If that sounds like your thing, go and check it out. Thank you for your time and have a good day.